I've been cooling with the vibes. Tell my ops I be outside. Bitch, I don't know how to hide. Still a suit up for the slide. Everybody know I'm lit. Please excuse me. Go check out Spade TV. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did you see where the whole um, who started? Yeah, the who whole trail debate about who paved the way yeah. for Arkansas. So, what's, what's your opinion on that? Uh, I think I'm gonna say this like everybody entitled to their opinion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, you just gotta give respect where it's due. Yeah, regardless who started it, mm -hmm. just just give give motherfuckers their flowers. Why they here? You feel right, me? Right. So if you know, uh, man, um, Bankroll Freddie kind of like put the light on it. Mm -hmm. Then give him his flowers for that. You know what I'm saying? If you know, uh, Cool and Filza signed a 1017. They opened the door a little bit more for Blav. Right. Give them their flowers. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah. like the the, the the debate is really irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It don't matter. Cause what 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 we really looking to do is just everybody do this shit together. Yeah. So Yeah, I'm, I'm I mean that that's the thing. I mean, my thing is, I mean everybody got their own their own place in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Bankroll Freddie, of course he can he probably the most successful yeah, as far as mainstream, he's the most successful rapper from Arkansas. Yeah. And that's like not even debatable. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course you had other rappers before him. I mean, you can go yeah. even from where you from. Them, you them TikTok dudes it. though. Them TikTok dudes yeah. from uh from from Little Rock. Uh, yeah. I think one on. I think they named Zay H D or yeah, something Zay, like that. Zay H D. That, that that's who people was was arguing about. Zay between Zay H D. They've been doing it for a long. They was doing it before Bankroll. Right. And you got people like Young Legend. You got people like Lil Speed. Yeah, yeah. Legend was a yeah. motherfucker. The mozo. Man, I remember this shit. Yeah. You got people like Cat Daddy. You got Ball Jones. I mean, I, you can go on and on. But at the same time, Bankroll did do his thing as far as putting it on the mainstream level. Yeah, see, that's, so, that, 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 like, that's what people don't really understand. Like, the the game right now is more so your image than your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can you can grab them up. Like, like take Cook. If you if you ever heard of Cook, Cook M, uh, I think Cook MGM. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, dude got the perfect image, so it's going to, it's going to, it's going to bring motherfuckers in to, to see what he talking about. Yeah. That's what a lot of rappers got to understand that they talking this, you know, bang, bang, shoot them up. Uh, I got the money, yeah. all this old shit. You got to you gotta make yourself look like what you talking about. Or, you know, really beat it or at least play your part. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. All right. Uh, so I saw on social media uh, uh, a few months ago you had a kid's day in your hometown. So, so is that something that you came up with, or how, how did that come about? Yeah, uh, the kids' day it, it, it is really like in 2013 I did it, and really I just went. I probably bought like 50, 60 water guns, mm -hmm. and just got out, got out at the park, told all the kids to come up there, and we just, you know, we did what we did: water balloons, all that little uh, barbecue, whatever. Mm -hmm. So. In 2015, I ended up going to prison. I went, to, I went to the feds. So when I got out, I got out 2020. I said, man, I gotta bring it back. Yeah, I mean, I saw the videos and stuff. I mean, it looked like it was, man. It looked like it was that so wasn't hard. like, like that wasn't even, that wasn't even the gist of it. Like, wow. it got, it got way bigger than that. Wow. wow. So yeah, that's, that's what's up. Man. I think that's something that that a lot of artists, you know, what I'm saying, can can learn from. Like, like even if you're not. This big millionaire artist, you can still go and yeah. do something. You know what I'm for saying? Sure. Go, go do something. For sure. For, we for, man, look, this this be the thing. Like we we um we bullshit a lot. We buy jewelry. We uh you know smoke weed, sibling, pop here, do all this shit. So sure. if we can if we can spend our money on it, yeah. let's spend our money on something that you know. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So you got a project uh, called The God, right? Right. Uh, that just. It just came out? Completely. Just came out. Alright, bit, bit. Mm -hmm. Uh so uh why did you name it the God? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, honestly though, like in the town, and I hate to say this cause like they'll be like, yeah, yeah, he uh he out. But <laughs> like like niggas know. Yeah. Females know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who all did you work with on the album? I ain't really work with nobody. Oh, no, no, so that's like the, I, I, the 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 only the only person that I just uh, really worked with for like feature was uh, was my little partner Thirty Heavenly. Okay. And we got a, we got a video to a song that we did for for his project uh, called uh, Bar for Bar, but yeah. we got a song on my on my mixtape called uh, Chances. Okay, baby. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, what what's your favorite song on the album? My favorite song. I'm really, I'm really kind of, uh, I'm really kind of stuck between two songs. I got this, uh, I got this track called "However It Come," and then I got this track called "Ghetto Gospel." Okay. 